Should I, did I bring Funky Town Fish up again? Dragoon, you uh, you can call me Lindsay. You don't have to. No, no, you don't have to call me streamer. I don't identify a streamer or anything. Like, I don't. I don't ever go around to say, "Oh, I'm a streamer." You can call me. You can say my name. <laughs> Hello, Dragoon. How are you doing today? <laughs> Not even Mr. Surreal. I just feel like there's a lot of people that call themselves streamers or anything. I don't really see myself necessarily as a streamer. I see myself as the holder of the funky town fish on the screen to my right, to my left. I can't even spell fish right. Nope. Shut up. Funky Town Fish will no longer be speaking during these streams. Every time Funky Town Fish speaks, the audio gets muted. Funky Town Fish will no longer be able to speak ever again. They are officially muted for life. All right, what up, Tam Tam? We just started. <laughs> We're about to get back into Ace Attorney, Phoenix Wright Trilogy. This is episode four point 4.3 we finished the first trial we finally saw baron bond strangle whatever his name is we went through a lot of heart got through that first trial now we're about to go to an investigative kind of day see what we can more see what else we can dig up edgeworth i got nothing else to say let's get started phoenix right baby i do gotta say it's kind of cold already buddy what up navi how you doing here we go here we go here we go Funky monkey. <laughs> that fish is going crazy back there. All right. Waiting for it to go. To ah! Feels like home! Feels like home! Not a fan of Edgeworth. I'm, I'm a fan of Edgeworth. I'm a fan of Edgeworth. Continue. Let's go. Oh, this one. December 26th, Detention Center, Visitor's Room. Oh God, I hope Maya's not around or Mia, whichever one this is. I hope she's not around. I hope she does not get the first voice line or the first like dialogue in this section of the episode. I better not see her face pop up right here. I know her face is gonna pop up, but it better look, look let me speak as Phoenix for a little bit first. Let me be Phoenix for a little bit and then bring her back. Even bring the judge out. Maybe even Edgeworth. I got like five voices, five voices only. I got my normal Phoenix voice, which is just like typically my voice is a little bit more you know, to the point. I got my judge voice, the old man voice, which I always forget how to do. I got my Edgeworth voice, which is trying to be like a little bit more uh, formal English. Then I got my um, gumshoe voice, which also like coincides with like the the child voice which is like uh kuwabara kind of that's also the voice they use for harry butts i also got the um i didn't i uh presented the varen von strangle voice last night which is like the cookie or uh gingerbread man what else i got my southern bell voice i got my boom hour voice i don't got many other voices bro how many characters are we going to throw at me i don't have that many other i don't have that many more yeah i got the uh, von strangle voice <laughs> hey Mars, how are you doing today? Hey Kiwi, how are you doing today? <laughs> I already know she finna pop out right here. <sighs> oh, I forgot I, the Maya voice too, bro. I forgot. I forgot to say the Maya voice. Look, we started off with Phoenix. <clears throat> Maya. Hire Nikasho. Oh, Jesus, I hate saying her voice. Who, I need to retroactively go back and see who first suggested her voice be cursive and ban that individual, whoever it was. I need to find a way to go back and I think I know how to go back in the TikTok chats. I need to find a way to go back in the TikTok live stream chat, find when we first found Maya, introduce her cursive voice and ban the person that suggested it. She was using the first minute. <laughs> I'm good, Kiwi. <laughs> uh, I'm glad I'm sure it's worth the major to do with it. Okay, it's a, it's a relief. Hey, why do you do that anyway? 
She she wanted to go to the detention center for the hot shower. I don't know. I just know I had to do something. I know I'm not a lawyer, but my sister I was. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Well, you did save the trial. Just behave from now on, okay? Oh, okay. Ah, oh, they got her a jail. Free baby girl. He said she got not. He said she got 25 to life. What's good, Berlin? Berlin says it stinks in that room. We gotta get a, we gotta get the waterfall for Maya. We gotta get the waterfall for Maya. What else? Let's talk to her. Have you been questioned yet? No, not yet. Detective Gumshaw was here, here just now. He said Shing has this your first offense. We'll just go after your question. Dude, only wanted me to be right, get, right, getting bail money right away. Bail money? You can pay for me. I can't live in the office, girl. I ain't got no bail money. You better be riding in jail. Huh? How much? You think I got money? Do I look like I have money? I don't know. I guess they'll send you a bell or something. Why do I picture a giant bells of money every time I hear the word bell? Curse you, bell. Any luck with Mia? No, none. I can't get through to her at all. I tried. I really did. Is she going to be in prison this entire episode? If so, that'll be right after that. Keep her incarcerated this entire episode, boy. I like that. I like that. I think I probably shouldn't have stopped my training. She sounds like she really did do her best. I should check and see if there are any other waterfalls in the local area. I wonder if I ever see my sister are again. She gonna be in jail the whole episode. Let's go. Later, kid. <laughs> Been trying to get rid of her. Maya has a sister. Her. S I'm not gonna say anything, Sam. I'm not gonna say anything. But Maya does have a sister. What up, Sav? How you doing? I have not played the Fortnite season, no. What up, Eggbunana? Huh? No one knew. Wait. Y'all, that's a pretty big detail. <laughs> okay, so if you're okay with the, like, I'm going to tell you, because I'm going to tell you. So the beginning of the game, Phoenix's or Nick's boss is Mia. Mia is like, this is Mia's office. She's the head lawyer. Nick's new on the job and everything. She's mentoring Nick. So the first trial, the tutorial, she's teaching you how to go through the trial process. The beginning of episode two, they kill her. So I probably just said that for someone for the first time. Uh, sure is quiet here with nobody around. Right. I have to get Maya out of the teacher cell soon. Don't be in a rush to get her out of jail. Do not be in a rush to get Maya out of jail. She needs to learn her lesson. Let her let her sit there for a second. Let her sit there for a second, big bro. My she is good in jail, bro. We ain't in no rush to get her out. We are in no rush to get her out of that, that jail cell, buddy. <laughs> they finally got her. Why would I want to get her out? That was my plan all along. Get her to speak up, get contempt of court, and get incarcerated. Mm-hmm. Been plotting on her downfall this whole time. Let's go to Grossberg offices. What up, Josh? How you doing today? <laughs> Apparently, Mr. Grossberg is on vacation today. Well, I guess he can come back tomorrow if I need anything. I'm finna steal his stuff, bro. I'm finna steal this Wolverine with the banana statue. Just examining everything, make sure I'm not missing anything. I'm gonna make sure I got all the information I can have when I go into the final court case, bro. I'm leaving here with something. That's it. Let's move again. Let's go to the, uh... Huh? Okay. So the criminal, criminal, criminal affairs department. Detective Gumshoe's not here. No one's anywhere. Gumshoe's at the scene. Oh, ever's at the scene? Huh? Oh, really? He's alive. Why are that one? Got into a fight with the chief for not following protocol. Not following protocol? I bet he wouldn't help them build the case against Edgeworth. Let's examine the police station, bro. I'm not paying attention to anything they're saying. They're just EPFing. This boy over here playing Roblox on his computer. Someone take his computer away from him. Roblox gamer. Get that paperwork mixed up. Make sure Maya stays for another few years, buddy. Uh... What up, Zoro? 
What do you mean first member? What do you mean, Zoro? I'm doing good. What did Maya do this time? Maya spoke out in court, got uh, contempt of court, got sit, got kicked out of the uh, trial. She was yippy up in the middle of the trial, bro. They had to get her out of there. She was distracting the judge. This is episode four. Goodbye, uh, turnabout. <laughs> Zoro's in YouTube. <laughs> I'm doing good, Zoro. Zoro is always lost. <sighs> There are fewer than there were yesterday, but the cops are still around in the park. I wonder if Detective Gumshoe is here today. Is Harry Bats gonna be here today? That bird sound is so loud. If I ever get a chance to shoot a bird in this game, I'm gonna take my shots. And I'm gonna hit them all too. Four for four, six for six. That bird just be chirping in my ear. What bird is that? Uh, let's go to the public beach. Harry Butts? I haven't seen Larry around today at all. Probably off paying through the nose on a date with lovely Keyonce. I need to see Keyonce, bro. She gonna be dating my boy. I need to know what she's about. She over here drying his pockets up. There's no one anywhere. Is this a uh, abandoned world? Everything's empty. This is kind of scary. Looks like the boat rental shop is closed today too. There's... There's no one anywhere. <laughs> I'm getting scared. This is like a point and click horror game. I'm getting scared, bro. You don't know how you got here, Zoro. It happens. It happens. A little boy, a little flushy. Huh? What little flushy? What? What up, Lele? What up, Ralito? Behind me? There's nothing behind me except for my. Mm hmm. Ah, oh, jump scare, Gumshoe. Hey, Detective Gumshoe. Hey, pal. The trial today in a. Uh, it was kind of nice. Yes, what about the trial? He got fleas. Well, I was gonna say good show, but it wasn't really all that. Uh, he can't, he can't give my credit? No, you did, no, you did say Mr. Edgeworth, I guess. You can't give my credit, bro? Give me a slice of cake. I just wasn't sure how you'd thank you, you know? Eh, uh, thanks. You could, you could just say thank you, bro. Tomorrow's trial, let's talk about it. Let's see, yeah, this, this game plan. Detective Gumshoe, any idea what strategy Von Karma is planning for tomorrow? Is he gonna commit tax fraud? Is he gonna delete my social security number? What's he gonna do, big bro? Sounds like he's bringing in another witness. Another witness? Oh, right. He said something about that in the trial today. There were two witnesses. Jesus, I did not want to say his voice this early. There were two witnesses. That's it, he gets one line? I was wondering who that other witness was. Uh, who was it? Uh, sorry, pal. <laughs> I forgot. Ate too many donuts last night. You know what those do to my brain and my hairline. Super Mario, wow. As much as I'd like to, I'm not at liberty to divulge that information. Right. All right, I wanted to ask you something about Edshot. What's up? Is he afraid of earthquakes? I've never heard anything about that before. Uh, Mr. Edgeworth doesn't talk about himself too much, see? But there's one thing that's clear as day. Him hating crime the way he does, and him becoming a prosecutor, <laughs> the beginning scared of earthquakes? It all started with that incident. Why are you startling at me? The DL6 incident? Yep, that's the one. 15 years ago, when he saw his father shot before his very eyes. Oh, Swordra Bump. He's st he still feels the pain now. You can see it in his eyes. <laughs> I wanted to talk to you about Maya Faye. Huh? She's not on a bell, bell yet, right? <laughs> Keep her locked up. She stinks. That's strange. It's like I lost the paperwork or something. She's gonna be there a long, long time. Good, my boy. I told him let her go as soon as they had their finger report written up. Fingers crossed, of course. <laughs> Man, I don't know what would have happened in that courtroom today if it weren't for her. Seeing her getting dragged out by the bailiff. I'll be honest with you, pal. I shed a tear too. Probably even farted. Can't really control the things when you get excited. You know what I mean? 
Mr. Andrew, he was so moved, I saw his lip trembling. His lips are always trembling, I'm always observing it when they do. We are roommates after all. Really? Cold as ice, Edgeworth? He was really grateful for what you did, you know? I'm going to head back to the station. I'll get the report on Maya and get her out of there as soon as I can. Don't be in such a rush to get Maya out of jail, big bro, keep her there. At least 13 years, minimum. Thank you. Oh wait. I was wondering, how much is Belle going to be? I got two pennies in my pocket, dude. Don't worry about that. Mr. Edgeworth is posting the whole map. Edgeworth got money. Edgeworth got money because he ain't been paid as Ray himself. Ah, I know his game. What? Edgeworth? Didn't I tell you? He's grateful to her for what she did. All right, pal. Well, don't forget to forget. I messed up reading that, so I'm just going to give up. Hmm. Hmm. Maybe I can get Edgeworth to pay this month to rent it. See, I was joking about the rent things. I was joking about rent. I've been, I've been, I've been, <laughs> I've been joking about rent. <laughs> but I'm not, I'm not gonna second guess what I see written in the game. Ah. <laughs> what up, guy, mister? How you doing? What up, retro? What up, silly goose? How are you? I'm, I'm just focused on what I'm playing right now, Josh. Crow, they talk about rent. They talking about rent. Man, I was just joking about it, but I guess they real. Oh, my bad. My bad. Let's examine it. Man, this girl is still ain't clean up her trash. There's food and some magazines on the sheets. It's a, it takes a pretty tough, tough skin. I, man, I'm stuttering. He, he says she got reptilian skills. Can we, can we rob her? Let's break her window. I would steal this camera, no cap. Y'all see me with the triple camera setup after this. A boom mic. Not a boom mic, shotgun mic. Mm -hmm. I think we're done here. Oh my God, I thought I saw a siren head in the woods. Nah, I don't wanna be here anymore. Ah, not you. Jesus. Ain't no like you found a game. I just finished the paperwork. I'm free to go. No. Stay a little bit longer. Like 20 years. I promise you it's fun. Three at last, huh? Joy. Those interrogators were really mean. I told them to be mean. They were like, okay, what did you do this time? Like I was some kind of criminal. I told them you're a criminal. I told them you commit tax fraud. Can you believe it? I can't believe it. I want them to keep you locked up. Well, they let you out in the end, didn't they? You should be grateful, I guess. Hmm. Oh, well, that reminds me. Thanks for Bell. I didn't pay Bell. I would never spend a dollar on you. <laughs> Thank Edgeworth. Har? You posted Bell for you. I wouldn't do it. I'm I'm kind of upset that you was that you would think I would post Bell for you. Kind of rude. I need you to apologize for that. When did your bangs get split? Have you ever been forward facing Maya before? Said he was grateful for what you did, I guess. Not that you really did anything at all. Mr. Ashworth did say that. What'd you just say? I have to make it up to him. We've got to win this case, Nick. I'm the lawyer, you're just really here, honestly. That's why you got held in contempt of court. Uh, anyway, stop being mean to baby girl, y'all. Stop being mean to baby girl. What do you think we should do next? We're kind of lacking in a closed department. We could go to the park and look for a good old Gordy. I was kidding. You weren't kidding, girl. We can go look for Gordy. I'm okay with that. So if there are any clues out there, the, the park's as good as any bet. As bad as any. What do you say? Shall we head down there? Char. Maybe I should have paid attention to what you just gift up right there. Back to the park. What you mean no? What you mean no? What up, Miss Conrad? It's I'm a lawyer. I passed the bar. I'm a lawyer. What up, Squeezy? How you doing? What up, Wild Oak? What up, Kutil? <laughs> I try to avoid looking at her directly, Crow. She scares me a little bit. She got like a Renegon going on in the eyes. 
There aren't many cops around here today, are there? They're probably back at the precinct, working working up the case against Edgeworth. Um. Hey, y'all. Oh my gosh, that's Lotta Hart after you lied in court over your testimony. Hey, hey, it's Lotta. Y'all really did it today. What, what do we do now? Now I'm not complaining. See, I did a little thinking, a little self-reflection, you might say. I realize that being a witness is a mind to me responsibility. What up, Mert, Mert? How you doing today? So I just went up there and started blabbing anything that came to mind. Lotta. So you just see, I want to make a name. I want to make it. I try to make a name for myself. I want to make it up to y'all. Make it up. Today's trial. What did you think of the trial? To be honest, I was doing it. Just have to say I've been, been, been a witness. I want that credit, but I want that clout. Even though I didn't really see anything. I'm trying to convince myself that I had though. I'm sorry, I just know I caused y'all a lot of trouble. <laughs> I don't really care though, I'm just, I'm just saying I'm sorry. Well, memory is a tricky effect of one thing. Yeah, I sure know that now. I'll be fine next time I witness a murder. Hopefully you don't ever witness better. Prior, you mean the first time you witnessed a murder? I'm good, Mert Mert, I'm good. The Funky Town Fish exists. <laughs> what about Gordy? Right. Well, the way I figured, the trial's only soaking the flames of Gordy fever. I'll get my exclusive photos and rocket start start. All right, Lana, you go, girl. I wish I could be an investigative photographer, too. Finish your spear medium training first. Find a waterfall. Take a bath. Lana, what do you mean by making it up to us? Well, you see, she fit a rob us, dude. Gunpoint. Actually, I got a bit of information for you. Why? That Vaughn Carmer didn't want me to say nothing about it. Well, what information? Now we're getting to the heart of it. See, I reckon we might be able to do ourselves a little exchange. Exchange? Um, I thought this was to make it up to us. Right. I propose a little exchange to make it up to you. That's not how it works, Lotta. What? Information don't come cheap, my friend. Uh, 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 hey, I see you thinking my house unsophisticated these southern folks are. It's all written all over your face. Let me tell you, most southerners are way more sophisticated than you. I'm just exception, okay? But what did it be? We gonna deal or not deal? What do we do now, Nick? Deal, I guess. What do you want, Lotta? We don't have any other leads, so I don't think we have a choice here. Okay, how much? Huh? You completely off your rocker. I may not be sophisticated, but I'm not trying to rob the poor. Huh? The only fair exchange for information is information. Listen good. What I need from you is information about Gordy. Wow, 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 Gordy. But, but Gordy doesn't exist. I mean, Gordy might not exist. Then bring me proof that shows he don't. Uh, I'll be keeping watch from the car, okay? You see something, y'all come to me first, got it? Okay. Right. See y'all later. Uh, she wanted to go catch the Loctus monster. Okay, buddy. Okay, Nick, let's go hunting. Hunting? You don't seriously mean. Gordy, I sure do. What about Edgeworth? We're searching for Gordy, not him, Nick. Don't you get it? Okay. And how exactly do we search for a make believe monster? Maybe we can find a monster with myth specialist. Huh. I think we I think this is when we finally go to the boat area. That statue is new and it's terrifying. Robbed porn. <laughs> what up, Belzy? How you doing? What up, Soup Subway? Hello, hello. How are you today? That's Funky Town Fish. Funky Town Fish, how you about how you feeling today? How you feeling? That's all Funky Town Fish is allowed to say. Any more than that, my stream gets muted. What's that? Oh, the Soul Samurai, Nick. Oh my God. Yo, Maya. Harry Butt. Larry, what the heck is that? Ha, it was my girl Keontae's idea. Ha, she got a lot of ideas. Most of them involved taking my money. She was all like, if you like, put this here, then it would be like really cool, bruh. But, dude, she gave it to me along with the banner. She just had to take out another credit card in my name. <laughs> Wow, that's really impressive. She could find those for you. 
Well, she knows a lot of people. <laughs> she knows a lot of people, bro. Her phone's always blowing up. She's always hiding it from me as well. And that show's finished now. So she got it for free. She gets a lot of stuff for free, bro. Right. I don't like how his shirt's looking at me. Where's his left hand? Larry Butts, you're kind of weird, brother. Do you have a left hand? Doesn't that still samurai look a little out of place? I mean, it's so huge. Whoa, Miranda, thank you for the follow. Thank you, Miranda, thank you, Miranda, thank you, Miranda, thank you, Miranda. I appreciate it. What up, Beckett? You be doing sweater paws, Beckett? I guess it's good advertising. <laughs> Something about the still samurai just doesn't work for me. Huh? Really? It looks pretty well made to me. Huh? So I'm not a star shoot, Nick. Girl, we'll send you back to jail. Drew kind of short, like Cody and me don't fall for kind of stuff. These still samurai fans are obviously in a league of their own. Wow, Gordon Lake is really big. Yeah. Say, Nick, why is it called Gordon Lake? Because it's shaped like a gourd, buddy. Oh. Well, a long time ago, they used to grow gourds here. Wow, no way. I'm done with you. I was sure it's because the lake looked like a gourd from when you don't know. You know, like an hour ago, I'm not talking to you anymore, Maya. Get out of my face. Like a band kid. What's this machine? That, <laughs> that's a compressor. I use it to fill up the balloon with hot air. I also use it to fill up my tires when my uh, Keontae slashes them. <laughs> she loves me so. Hot neat. Hey, Pikachu, how are you doing? Just got it repaired yesterday. Man, what a drag that was. Okay, Shikamaru. I can't get over the samurai dogs. The original samurai dogs don't last I want seven. Hey man, whoever calls their product the original first wins. Why don't you add the world famous to the, why don't you add world famous to the sign? Hey, good idea. <laughs> what have I done? I finna cut my beard into a hairy butts goatee. Those flags look sadly out of place here, flopping listlessly back and forth in the cold under, in cold wind, in a cold wind under a cut. Jesus, Rail! Prove you have a reading, prove you can read right here, right now. Prove you can read a sentence right here and right now, Ray. Flapping listlessly back and forth in a cold wind under a cold sky. <sighs> I don't know, I think it gives a place a kind of festival atmosphere. It reminds me of the War of the Eyeglasses. Uh, the War of the what? Har, war, you mean you don't know the War of the Eyeglasses? Uh, why is she looking at me like that? What the heck is it? Our local fair used to do it every summer. Uh, I guess we're the only ones. Uh, we, we are the only ones. That's called it. Uh, you, they sent you to camp, baby girl. Mm -hmm. I ask again, what the heck is it? They sent her to um, summer camp. Hey, Nick Benches. Let's take a break. Maybe have a dog. Seven dogs. Seven samurai dogs. I think not. It's too cold to sit and eat hot dogs out here. Big back, wimpy city boy. You should try standing under a freezing waterfall sometime. You should try taking a bath sometime. <laughs> I like, I like, what's her name? I like Maya. Why am I so like, why do I feel this animosity towards her right now? Something about episode four has brought out some rage directed towards Maya. Hmm. I don't know what it is. I don't know what it is. Edgeworth. Yo, Nick. What happened with Edgy? Well, we made it through the first day in court, all right. I don't know how good our prospects are from here on, though. Huh? Oh, Larry, did you know Mr. Edgeworth's secret weakness? He's terrified of earthquakes. Why? See, maybe I foresaw. I have future sight. She out here gossiping about my boy Edgeworth. The dude I've been trying to. I'm trying to get Edgeworth to pay my rent. And she's over here gossiping about his weaknesses. That's where I draw the, that's where the issue is. I foresaw the, the issue. I'm trying to get Edgeworth to pay my rent and she over here talking about his weaknesses. Who told her to talk about his weaknesses like that? Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> he acts like a little boy. Send her back to jail. Huh? That's weird. I don't think he was ever like that at school. <laughs> no, really? Well, we were only in the same class for a little bit. <laughs> he changed the schools pretty quickly. He got money. Transferred. Right. When a DL6 incident happened. Doesn't look like Larry knows about it, though. 
Hey, Larry. When did you get that big thing? Huh? Oh, the big guy. I've had that for about a month. Yeah. It's a big hit with the kids. Why wasn't it here yesterday? <laughs> oh, right. The, the compressor was busted. Compressor. Yeah, okay, we've already had this conversation. All right, let's move. It's always so quiet here. I wonder if the post shop is closed for God. Well, with the murder on the lake and all, they're probably just taking vacation till it blows over. I get it. Mm, do you get it, Maya, or are you just saying you get it? What up, Sheriff? What up, Aaron? Hello, hello. How are you two doing today? <laughs> uh, examine. I think we're gonna have to take a boat onto the lake. Is it Sheriff or Sharif? I have a feeling it's Sharif. Is it Sheriff one or Sharif two? All right, make sure I check everything. Everything's checked. Move on. I think I got a feeling we're gonna have to take a boat at some point. Hey, y'all. Well, y'all find anything about Gordy? Ah, uh, no, nothing. Well, keep moving. It gets cold out here at night time. It is a little chilly. I I think I have to sneeze. Well, well, no, you don't. No sneezing. Not chow. I told y'all, no sneezing. See, I set the camera to respond to things a little softer than the bang. It triggered on one of Van Carver's finger snaps down. Oh, I'm so sorry. Yeah, well, sorry. How about my feeling? Nick, pay the lady. I ain't paying her a dime. Yeah, you're eating canned beans. Hey, Nick. What? Well, don't tell me you're hungry again. No, no. I was just wondering why we're camping. Okay, we've already had this conversation before. Okay, let's talk to the. Uh, let's talk to her. I learned, I learned something in today's course trial. That's for sure. That's fine. It's serious business. That's why I decided not to talk about it in that case anymore. Har. Oh, did you say you had information about the case? Tell us that at least. Like I said, I'll try to find the gear, the dirt on Gordy. What are you going to do if Gordy doesn't exist? I'll quit being an investigative photographer. War. After all, I only have one photo of my name so far. Was well, it a good one? You bet. Yeah. A UFO? <laughs> Jesus. Uh, you UFO? UFO? Anyway, if I can't get a career making photo this time around, then that's it. I'll quit and I'll go back to school. Power, so you really are a university student. What up, Joel? Yeah, and I'm taking a bit of a break. I'm taking a, I'm taking a bit of a break. Bit for a break. For our 40. What are you going to do if Gordy doesn't exist? I quit being a oh, I've already asked this. Move on. Dude, am I, am I, am I stuck in the Ocarina of Time owl? Wait, why is Gordy not checked off? Weird. Why is Gordy not checked off? That's guy selling my dogs faster than I can cook. Do you think Gordy really exists? Nah, I think somebody probably saw something else and they thought it was just Gordy. Not keep samurai, dogs till the truth's out.
Dude, Gordy is this statue. Gordy is this statue. This statue was in the lake at some point. That's where he, that, Gordy is this statue. The hand without the fan. <laughs> what up, Dream? Gordy is this statue. <laughs> so okay, so how do I, do I gotta go unplug Gordy? I'm gonna keep calling the statue Gordy though. Okay, buddy. The hand matches up perfectly with, I. We're, yesterday I was talking about how like the, the Gordy picture is just someone doing a sock puppet kind of thing. But it, like, look at, look at this. Let's, let's go back and look at it one more time. The, uh, the hand with the fan in it, it's shaped like this. And it's kind of extended away from the body and it has little ribbons for the rope next to it. When you look at the picture of the, in the court case, or the picture in the magazine, it has the ribbons and it has the hand. <laughs> the Lego hand. <laughs> that's a still, that's a still samurai statue. Larry, Harry, why would you lie about this, bro? Harry, where did this, where'd you get this statue for real? Why are you lying to me? Harry? Why is he lying to me? <laughs> Why is he? I, it makes me so mad that they're lying to me. Why would he of all people lie to me about this? Why can't he just say, yeah, bro, I got it from the lake. Jeez. <laughs> okay, now I got to get him to confess about it. I got to find a way to turn it off or something. Maybe I should have paid attention to all the dialogue about the compressor. I, can't, I don't have an option to confront him about it just yet. That's so goofy. Can I press him on? Can I? Hmm. I'm just gonna present everything I have to him right now. Back, Mr. Butts. Hey there, pal. What's up? You look out of sorts. Wait, you didn't go and do something that's gonna hurt Mr. Edgeworth's case again, huh? What do you mean again? Whatever, have a seat, pal. I'm here for you. If you need anything besides money, that is, I do need money. How do you know? How do you know I needed money? How's the investigation proceeding? It's not really. We have another meeting coming up. We're supposed to talk about Mr. Edgeworth's motive. It's murder. See, Mr. Edgeworth's father died in a DL6 incident. And the guy who got the lone suspect declared innocent was the victim in this case, Robert Hamm. They're saying that's why Mr. Edgeworth shot him. And Edgeworth never talks about his past. I bet they'll drag it out to hit him with it while in court tomorrow too. Mr. Poor Edgeworth. I gotta admit, it doesn't look good, pal. Thank you. Light a cake, litty cake. Thank you for the follow. <laughs> it's been really fun so far, Dream. If we're, we're in episode four right now. We're in episode four. You know about Gordy? Monster down in the Gord Lake? Not personally, no. Of course you're okay. Well, we're looking for it. Huh? Are you out of your minds? Yarr, geek. You got time to go wild monster hunting? What about doing a little question for me then, huh? Our detective gum show is scaring me, Link. Detective Gumshoe was a scary. I told Detective Gumshoe about to deal with Lotta. Nick, try telling him sooner next time. Uh, sorry. I see, pal. Sorry for shouting at you. Okay, I, Detective Gumshoe, will aid your search for Gordy. Arr. I'll loan you one of our newest secret weapons for finding evidence. Really? You can take whichever one you like. Is this like a uh, FNAF security breach where you got to pick between the Phaser Blaster or the other thingy? 
Okay, oh, the, the camera. Okay, give us the cards. Hold on now. Everything in due time. First, let me show them to you. These are our best surprises. Introducing secret weapon number one, Miss. Mama Missile. He's a K9 police dog, still in training. Missile, missile, here, boy. Am I about to get a puppy? Hey, Lauren, how are you doing? Can I stick this dog on Maya? Plant some, plant something on Maya and have it sniff it out and get her incarcerated again? Here he is. He's so cute. Look at that cute dog. Cute dog. And this will help us how? Woof. Looks dynamite. Next, secret weapon number two, a fishing pole. Here, this is my own personal pole. Texas gumshoe. We're looking for a monster. Yeah. <laughs> How are we supposed to catch a whole sea monster with a fishing pole? I, there are things I want to say. I'm gonna let Funky Town Fish, Funky Town Fish say him for me. What the heck? And that was Funky Town Fish. What up, Mandy? Never, you n never know until you try, pal. Okay, this next one is the last one. No, please. I'm already overwhelmed by our choices. Secret weapon number three, a metal detector. Detective Gumshoe, we're looking for something alive. Right. Now we're supposed to find a, it with a metal detector. Hey, you never know, it might be eating soda cans. Well, which will it be? Um, I can't make up my mind, Nick. Now it's so perfect. I can't make up my mind either. For the totally opposite reason. Oh, well, I suppose it can't hurt to borrow one of them. Which one are we picking? I kind of want to take the fishing pole. The dog? Kind of feeling the fishing pole. I'm gonna give y'all 10 seconds to decide right here. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. We're taking the dog then. Can we borrow a missile? Sure thing, pal. Be good to him. He's so cute. Oh boy. All right, does he bite? Gumshoe, quit eating those pennies, big bro. You're still breathing hard. Gumshoe be eating those pennies. Hey, Nick. Missile's been acting strangely lately. Missile, oh, oh, right. That little creature, that's the detectives. Durga, thank you for the follow. Hello, hello. How are you doing today? Hey, I love little doggies. Good boy, good boy. That dog bites. <laughs> <laughs> Wow, what's wrong, Mr. All? <laughs> Mr. All, Mr. All. <laughs> no, stop that, the cannibal. It's eating my samurai dogs.
<laughs> My Simra talks. <laughs> wow, he ain't every single one. I'm sorry, Larry. <laughs> sorry, sorry, don't pay my bills, Nick. <laughs> it's gonna have two this time. <laughs> uh. Huh? Did nothing else come of that situation except the dogs are gone now? <laughs> oh, that is funny. There's nothing else to do here. Hey, Larry, look at Smissel. Isn't he cute? Get that man away from me! What am I gonna tell the big boss? There's a big boss in charge of your hot dog stand. Nick, maybe the stand is a front for mafia money laundering scheme. Maya, I think you should probably try to look a little sorry about what happened. Oh, rawr. Yeah, my poor dogs. Oh, that was goofy. Let's go to boat rentals. Still nothing in the boat rental area. Can I send missile after that bird to finally murder it? I don't like forward facing blank face butts. I don't like blank butts. Oh yeah, get her missile, get her missile. Get her missile, sick her. Hey Lotta. Oh cute, he's yours. He's a canine play star, his name's special. Huh, canines are the ones that use them for things, right? I wonder what Gordy smells like. Mmm, I hadn't thought about that. Mmm. I'm making no headway right here. I think I need to get one of the other items. I think each of those three items has a significant purpose. Like, uh, maybe the metal of the sector would break the compressor. That's what I'm thinking. That's just a legit. I'm just thinking out loud, bro. I'm just thinking out loud. Just thinking out loud a little bit. Okay, Nick, this looks like a good spot. Good spot for what? Time to do some fishing. She's serious. <clears throat> what are you trying, what are you gonna use for bait? Hmm, I figured something like this would happen. We should have brought Missile along with us too. At least he, then we have bait. Nick, how could you? I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Some sharks are better left on charge. Oof, she hit me. She's violent. Okay, watch this, Nick. Just try not to roll in any big empty cans or boots. Here we go. My leg. Hey, what, what are you doing? <laughs> Sorry, Lotta. Don't tell me y'all are from some field company's payroll. Nick payer. My poor, poor wallet. Okay, that's the end of that. What up, Silver? <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we do gotta get the metal detector. Probably gonna break the uh, compressor with it.
Borrow all of Gumshoe's secret weapons. I got an achievement. <laughs> oh? Nick, it's Big Bang. The metal detectors found something. <clears throat> sure is loud enough about it. Whatever it is, it must be in those bushes. Go check it out, Maya. Why do I have to go check it out? Nick! Okay, so this is exactly what we're looking for right here. We're gonna see this, and they're gonna be like, where did this come from? Then we're gonna take this item, present it to Butts, and Butts is gonna be like, you know what, actually, the still samurai statue is from, from the lake. Lock. Huh? An air tank? Huh, the valves look breaking. I thought it was Gordy. Maya, first of all, why would Gordy be in the bushes? Think, Mark, think! And second of all, why would a metal detector react to a sea monster? Our Huh? There's something wrapped around this air tank. Looks like a string of flags. Well, we might as well take it with us now that we found it. It's heavy. I already know what I'm doing with that. Present. What? An air tank? What about it? Larry, I wanted to ask you about this tank. Is it yours? Say, is the air tank yours? <laughs> Why did he crook his head like that? Why would I have a thing like that? Look, see how there's a string of flags around the tank valve? It's just like this. Ooh! It's like the string of flags around your still samurai there. Gah! Must be a coincidence. There's a string, string of flags everywhere these days. Like, like yellow energy schools. And they use car dealerships. Well, why would I need to take anyway? To inflate something, Larry? You used this to inflate that, didn't you? I inflate what? What else? Big puffy still samurai? Now why would he go ask me a question like that? Looks like I hit the nail on the head. Right, right. Actually, um, see, the compressor I always used was on the fritz. So I tried to use the tank to inflate it just once. And uh, it didn't go so well, as I suspected. It didn't go so well. Why, like, why, why is Larry lying to us, Silver? The Twitch is right. Kutil said, why well, Larry got the Twitches? I don't know that from Shaggy. <laughs> why is he lying? Is he supposed to be our friend? What do we need to detect an inactivity, TikTok? I'm here. Why is he lying to us? Er, yeah, everyone in this universe is a liar. Do you think you could be a little bit more specific? Come on. Look, it's a bear, so I don't really want to talk about it. Chalas, chalas. Fine. Whatever. It's like. But I said, the compressor was busted. So I took the tank and tried to fill the same wrap with it because the compressor was busted. And then, because it was busted, bam! <gasps> That's the first bang. That's the first bang a lot of hearts heard. The compressor or whatever. That's the first bang, boy. Oh. He launched the still samurai right into the lake. The valve busted open and made this incredible noise. And that tank there took off like a rocket. This is funny. And it took off for the flame and still see right with it. Wire off into Gord Lake. It sure scared me out of my gourd, that's for sure. So this is Gordy. This is your still samurai right here, bro. That's the guy. Okay. Bro, just tell us that's the still samurai, dude. Oh my gosh. Um, so the tank was still somewhere you were trying to fill up for a way. What happened next? Well, all that happened on the 20th or so. The 20th a week ago? Now, as far as I can see, the tank went flying out into the lake. So I went out every night into a boat looking for it. Well, I guess that wasn't the first bam. I mean, Keontae gave me that still simmer after all. And when did you find it? Just the night before last. 
It flew way out there. It took me four whole days to find it. The night before last it was the night of the murder. So is this the Flash Lot of Hearts song? The flashlight from Larry? He does have incredibly bad luck. Sorry for not telling you, Nick. Actually, I was here on the night of murder. That's a big detail, dude. But you see, I went home before midnight. Huh, so you didn't, so you didn't know what happened. No, that's too bad. It's not all bad. You've solved one mystery at least. A mystery? Maybe we should go tell her. See you, Larry. You know, I was wondering. What if you get it? Oh, okay. Well, Mr. Lawyer, I've got the info you need. Y'all got a scoop on Gordy for me? Lotta, there is no such thing as a Gordy. What? <laughs> How can y'all be so sure? Really, Nick? Maya, you were there with us. Y'all got some proof Gordy doesn't exist. What up, sugar? How are you doing? Of course I have proof. No lawyer worth his badge would make a claim without the proof to back it up. Here's the proof that Gordy doesn't exist. Larry's air tank. What are y'all going to do with an air tank? This is Gordy. This is Gordy. Um, excuse me. What are you exactly you saying, Nick? There's a stand near here, a hot dog stand. They sell samurai dogs, and my dog missile ate all of them. There's a giant inflatable samurai doll. They're about 10 feet tall. I could dunk on it if I wanted to, but I busted my knee back in uh, Korea. You know, I was there on my uh, my my K-pop tour. I thought we could go an idiot who happens to be a friend of mine tried to feel it. <coughs> he used this, <coughs> he used this air ticket of valve blue and the tank flew into the lake. Ah, apparently it made a pretty loud bang when it flew. A bang. The tank along with the still deflated samurai fell into the lake. Same time. A couple was taking a photograph of the lake. This photo. Wait, so you're saying that Gordy is a real still samurai. Well, that's a fine way to ruin a gal's dreams. I'm so sorry, Lotta. Nah, it's okay, you win. I'll give you your info like I promised. Or Lotta. So, tell us this information you have. As a promise is a promise, I guess. I overheard cops around here saying something about the witness tomorrow. They said he's a caretaker of the ball rental place up the path here. Ball to rental. There's someone there? I mean, it looks so deserted. This an old guy living all by himself. Y'all should go check it out. Thanks a lot, are we well? Let's get cracking, Nick. Hold on. Something else? Yeah. The night of the murder. My camera clicked twice, you know. Wait, so you have another photo? Well, yeah, but there's nothing in it at all, just a lake. I figured it wouldn't be much use as evidence, so I kept it to myself. Well, it might not be helpful at all, but here, take it. Bye now. Y'all take care. Time for me to pack up and leave. You shouldn't be camping here anyway, baby girl. Or a lot of... It's all Larry's fault. A legend still lives on, I guess. A legend. Yeah, the legend of Larry, familiar to all who know him for any length of time. When something smells, it's usually the butts. Hmm. Someone should whip that butts in the shape. Ew. What are we talking about? What are we talking about? Let's look at this picture. Avenger by night. What up, reptiles? How are you doing? Let's look at this. Uh, can I check it? I can't look at it. That's kind of lame. I was wondering when we were going to get that second picture. Hey, 
Hey, Nick, this is the boat shop that Lada was talking about. You're right. Doesn't seem to be anyone around at all. Well, let's go check it out anyway. I mean, there's nothing to check out. There's nothing to check out. There's nothing to see. There's nothing to see. Oh, caretaker shack. I swear, if Maya gets in here and talks about eating the food, I'm gonna I'm send her back to jail. Meg, is that you? Eek. Hey, is that Keith with you? Where have you two been? I've been worried sick. Nick, you handle this. Uh, I think I'll leave this one up to you, Maya. <laughs> as soon as I saw him, the voice came to me, Kutil. <laughs> I can smell the voice through the screen. Meg! Yeah? Finally made your mind, haven't you? A mind? <laughs> you run the pasta shop and I'm gone. P -p pasta. Glad to hear it. Glad to hear it. You make your old man proud. When you kids left the house, I didn't know what to think. How am I supposed to keep this place running? An old man like me. Finally, ah! the kids are home. Hello, hello, squad. Nick, what was that about? What was that? This guy's driving me crazy. A parrot, the one on that perch. Gabe! Yes? I leave the wet noodle in your capable hands! The wet noodle in my hands? Nick, what's the wet noodle? I'm scared. Um, based on the infallible evidence, I'd say it's the name of his foster shop. That's a relief, isn't it, Polly? Hello, hello, squash! Ah. <laughs> Sir! Oh my gosh, this guy's useless. No way he's a witness. He fell asleep. I guess he's relieved. Let's examine, bro. There goes Maya talking about the food, bro. Oh, never mind. Look, Nick, he has an electric blanket on this check. Well, look, Schwar. That's a great idea. We should get to that, y'all. We should now talk a lot of shock and warm trick out trick out cocoa. Oh. And what about, and what, talk about murders? You're a pretty party for bar, Nick. She's reminding me of Princess, uh, Princess, uh. Not Princess Bubblegum. Princess. The Lumpy Princess. The purple one. Is it Lumpy Princess? What's her name? Her voice is starting to go into that direction for me. Today, her voice is starting shifting into that direction. Is it Lumpy Space Princess? I think it is. Lumpy Space Princess. Lumpy LSP. LSP. <laughs> wow, well, what an amazing parrot that is. Oh my gosh. Good morning. Hello. It ignored me. Gross. What? You forgot me? <laughs> you gotta call her name first. Her name? Holly, how you been? Hello, hello, squad. See? Name, so the parrot's name is Polly. Parrot added to the court record. Too bad all she can say is hello. Hi, hi, hi. Old Polly can say lots of things. You just need another secret words. The secret words. Polly, Polly, what's your name? Polly, squawk! <laughs> cute. Maya's found a new friend. About time she got a friend. I didn't mean to do that again. Looks like a kitchen unit, it's been pretty clean. Funny, he doesn't look like the type who'd keep things tidy like that. You're forgetting, Nick. He's running a pasta shop here. What kind of pasta he be cooking in here, dude? I'm scared. 
Wow, there's lots of various fish in Gourd Lake, aren't there? Something's funny, Nick. All these fish are saltwater fish. Look, a little safe from... It's locked. Quit snooping! Wow, he had a television in here, too. This fishing pole looks expensive. Reel it in. All right, let's talk to him. Don't pop that in my face again. Ugh. Uh, pasta shop. I have to think the wet noodle will live on when I'm gone. My father started, you know, so that makes sense to, a, to the third generation. Bang. Yeah. Tomorrow, we'll start the secrets of doll tossing. Doll tossing and our... You too, Keith. Yes. Y'all be the best pasta wrangler the West has ever seen. Pasta wrangler, the rest is from pasta from Italy. Meg. Yes. You know the best pasta has always been made west of the Rockies, don't you? R right, of course, everybody knows that. Nick, huh? How long do we have to keep this up all in the family charade? This old man must know something about the murder. We're not leaving until we find out what it was. What up, Tia? We've been at it for an hour and 13 minutes so far. How are you doing? I need this. We've been getting pretty strong storms all week, bro. The, the storm's been super annoying also, because they were like, rain super hard in the morning, super hard. And then immediately the sun will break free and it'll be incredibly humid the entire day, like walking through a swamp. Um, um, this is a boat rental shop, right? What are you talking about? This, there's that palace of the pa pasta, the wet noodle. It's the worst, Silver. Oh, now that you mention it, we haven't gotten many orders for spaghetti lately. All the kids come up and say, yo, dude, wanna ride in, wanna ride in one of your boats? That's why I keep boats out there. Youngsters these days, darn if I understand them. I'm pretty confused myself. I could go for some spaghetti, bro. Nah, cause this isn't going anywhere. This old man is a witness tomorrow, right? We gotta find some way of getting information out of him, Nick. Uh, my memory's gotten worse of late. That's why I just tell everything important to Bob Polly here. Everything important? I wonder. Polly, what's the number of the safe? Oh my gosh, he's a criminal! Uh, yeah. Yep, we're still in episode four, Tia. Maya's a criminal! Arr! Hey, Polly! Watch it, will ya? No, she's a criminal, Silver. See, <laughs> she, Nick. All it takes a little clever or for the green. And a criminal mind. And a criminal mind! <laughs> Quick, Nick, write that number down. Oh my gosh! Hey, don't get me involved in your little heist schemes. Oh my gosh! Are we gonna open a safe? Are we doing this? <laughs> I kinda wanna open it now. <laughs> we got the passcode. Wait, so yeah. Remember that tricolor pasta we were talking about? Our rain bolo rain bolioli. I figured out the last color we should use, indigo blue. What up, Jesus? Indigo blow. That didn't seem to work the way I thought it would. Hmm. Having to wait for a snot bubble to pop every time is kind of annoying. Shariah, how are you doing? 
It's been so long since last I've seen my son lost to this monster, to the man behind the slaughter. Since you've been gone, I don't know the words to this part. I should know them. I've listened to it all alone. I'm about to enter another FNAF phase, y'all. I want to play that new FNAF game real bad. Kids, I want to play that new FNAF game real bad. Kind of want to replay Security Breach as well, bro. I don't know. I don't want to replay Security Breach and, and the new FNAF game. There is a new one, Silver. It's called Into the Pit. What do you mean my band teacher is showing? <laughs> is it like super hot for you, Shariah? I want to, silly goose. I also I don't want to pay $20 for it, though. Into the Pit, baby. I've been avoiding Markiplier's videos on it. I've been avoiding Marky Poo. I don't know anything about it. I don't know it's a new FNAF experience. Last August, like last year, we played um, Ruin for Security Breach. That was fun. I got to replay Ruin too. It's been so long since last I've seen my So what are we doing here, man? He's not going to tell us anything, no matter what we present to him. Oh, the lawyer badge finally worked for something. That's a lawyer's badge. Yes, it is. <laughs> I don't believe it. I'd be down to play lethal sometime. Lethal company. This old guy is the first person to recognize my badge. I get it. I can't make the crazy voice for him. I gotta give him a different voice because it seems like he's awake now. I get it. Huh? I up. I got you figured out now. You're not Keith. Nick, now's our chance to clear things up. Um, sir? No, I'm not Keith. And I'm not Meg either. We we're investigating a murder that took place on this lake the other night. Please help us. Hmm. A lawyer, huh? Please, mister. All right, I'll help. But on one condition. What's that? When this case is over and done, you'll run the wet noodle. Honestly, baby girl Maya needs a job. She got to pay my rent. Maya has to pay my rent. Honestly, honestly, she needs a job. Okay, we promise. Nick, are you sure about you're going to run the wet noodle? Hey, anything to get the case solved. Also, who wouldn't want to eat Phoenix noodles? Phoenix noodles? Who's trying to eat Phoenix noodles? I guess so. That's for more. Good for you, Keith. What did I just say? You too, Mag? Yes. <laughs> You're bringing to the old man's eyes, you know? Now, what was that you wanted to know? Speak up, Polly. Hello, hello, Squire. Arr. Now he's talking to the bird again. How do we get him to talk to us? Uh, yeah, I've seen this. You know something about this, sir? Keith. Yes? It's okay. You can call me dad. Dad! You know something about this? This is scary. Oh, uh, yeah. The other night, out on the lake. Yes, yes. I know all about that. I've seen it. Wow! Tell us, tell us what you saw. Well, I suppose. Unless you're taking over the shop and all. Speak! I forget the time, but it was pretty dark outside. Probably night, I up. It was after midnight, but okay. And I heard this bang, so I looked outside. And I heard another one, bang! A little while later, this boat comes back. And a young man walked from my window here. He was muttering something to himself, all right? Uh, what did he say? I, uh, I forgot. 
I don't withdraw my court time, promise. Oh my gosh, you're useless. We need to know earlier than that. You're not what? Little Terry was just here. Terry? I have that kid next door. You always used to make him cry, remember? He was wearing this tattered old coat. Got himself some whiskers growing out of his face. He must be talking about the Texas gum shoe. He comes up and tells me to come down to the court tomorrow. Really? Somehow I don't think we're going to get much useful information from this guy. Maya, maybe we should be leaving. I think you're right. Oh wait, I had one more question. Polly, Polly, have we forgotten something? Quack! Don't forget DL6! Squawk! Huh? Why don't she just say Nick? One more time, Polly. Don't forget DL6! Squawk! What? DL6 incident? Hey, mister! I mean, dad! Zer. This is getting weird. Who is this old guy? Why would that bird Polly know about DL6? We have to figure out who that old man is. Oh, what? He locked the door from the other side. Who could that old man be? Now he needs to do a little more research in this DL6 incident. He wishes that's the sex gum shoe. Hmm. Are you in the hospital now, Oak? Long time no see. You don't look so happy. <laughs> you want some pennies? I always keep a spare penny in my pocket for lunch. What's wrong with this time? I actually wanted to ask you something. Yeah. Detective Gumshoe, please help us out. Huh? We need to know about the DL6 incident. That was when Edgeworth's father died. I can't help but think that it has something to do with this current case. Tell the truth, I don't know much about DL6 either. Mr. Edgeworth forbade us from reading the file. So, I'm afraid I can't show them to you either, pal. Wire. However, if you convince me somehow that DL6 incident is related to this case, well, I guess I consider opening the file up. You know the boat rental shop down at Gort Lake? Oh yeah, the old man who runs it is appearing as a witness in court, court right? Huh? How'd you? Uh, now it's supposed to be top secret. Do you know who that old man is, Detective? Actually, I don't. He's a bit of an odd bird. I haven't been able to get a straight answer out of him. I decided first that he wasn't persuasive enough to stand and testify as a witness. That's why we called Mr. Lot of Heart yesterday. As for who he is, we have absolutely no idea. He's just some random. Harm oh, sounds suspicious. Huh. Hmm. What's that? A parrot. The old man in the boat went to stop parrot. Parrot knew about the incident. That incident? DL6. What? Polly, Polly, have we forgotten something? Squawk! Don't forget DL6, squawk! Arr! What up, Azrael? How are you doing? <laughs> I'm pretty sure that old man must have taught her that word. Yeah. But how would he, uh, but how would that old man know about the DL6 incident? Wait, what if? What if the old man was connected to the DL6? Nick, you think he might be? I get you. Sounds like you need information on the DL6 incident. Through there is the station's records room. I'll give you special permission to go in and find what you need. All right, way to go to Texas Gum Show. Okay, next to the records room. I guess it's time we face Edgeworth past. Ah, I am enjoying it so far. It's been it's been a lot of fun. It's been a blast. Wow, it's amazingly dusty. 10 years of files and 10 years of dust, I guess. Thank you! Number one! Thank you for the follow. Hello, hello. How are you doing today? 15 years ago, both me and Edgeworth were nine years old. We were almost through with fourth grade when he suddenly transferred. 
because of DL6? Nick, I found out where the file is. Oh, thanks. Just let me know what you want to know about the DL6 incident. I'll go get the right file. Let's examine the room first. There are shelves stuffed with cases and files in the back of the room too. Forgotten cases rotting away for eternity. Nick, let's get what we need for and get out of here. All of us is getting to me. There are files to collect the case before. So it's quite a lot. Wow, these are all. Jazz Lamar! Hello! Thank you for the follow! My headband was kind of hurt in the back of my head right there. Is my head expanding? This cabinet is where they keep evidence for current cases. Some of the things are obviously murder weapons. Others are, who knows what? Most of it just looks like random junk. Nick, what do you think this clothes from this for? Don't touch that, it's evidence. There are files inside the glass case. The case is so dusty, I can't see what's inside. Nick, it's locked. They must keep important files in there. Ah, right, let's see the uh, DL6 file. I think we're good. Let's do it. Well, first I have to get a hand on the main facts, like a summary. Right, summary. Summary, summary, found it. There you go. Take December 28th, 2001. Boy, I remember 2001. That's exactly 15 years ago from now. The day after tomorrow. So in two days, the case is closed. The incident took place in the elevator of the district courthouse. Why? Is this the same district courthouse where we're holding the trial now? Looks like it. There was a large earthquake at 2 p.m. on that day. Part of the court building collapsed and all of the lights went out. Wow, that was some earthquake. He's stressing back there, boy. At the time, three people were trapped in the elevator. He is stressed. <laughs> Get me out of here! Had to rip his clothes off. It took five hours for them to be rescued. Five hours. That would be scary like that in the dark. He got shot through a window? That is so scummy. Wait, okay, time out. So he got trapped in the elevator and got shot through a window while trapped. That is such a, he got 200 pumped while trapped in the elevator. He got boxed and 200 pumps. He got edited on. That is crazy. That's a crazy way to go out. It's so fun, Jazz. It's, it's fun to think about it all. He got 200 pumped from a trapped elevator. In front of his son. Wow. I'm not saying it to you. <laughs> he got pooped on. No survivors. One of the three in the elevator had been shot in the heart. That was Mr. Edgeworth's father. That was Mr. Edgeworth's father. Wasn't it? What up, Gray? He said that his father was shot before his very eyes. So Miles Edgeworth was one of the other passengers in the elevator. <laughs> yeah, that's scary, Silver. Do you have data on the victim? Edgeworth's father. Yeah, hold on. Victim, victim. Here, found it. Gregory Edgeworth, 35, defense attorney. If he were here, he's still alive, he'd be 50. He had lost that day's case in court and got in the elevator with his son, Miles. He lost the case, got stuck in the elevator, experienced an earthquake, got 200 pumped while trapped in the elevator, and died in front of his son. What a terribly horrific day. Miles. Miles Edgeworth, of course. So he was in the elevator with his father. All of his bad luck hit in one moment. From the angle of the bullet and the other evidence, it could not have been a suicide. Slipper slide. Murder weapon, a pistol, was found in the elevator. Time out. Time out. See ya. See ya. <laughs> Calm down. <laughs> Get a grip. <laughs> Face reality. <laughs> Compose yourself. <laughs> Pistol had been fired two times. What up, Elizabeth? 
Where have I heard that before? The pistol had been fired two times. The victim got shot in the heart. Pistol was shot twice. Victim got shot in the heart. Sounds just like this current case. What's going on here? He's very, and he's very dead. What was that? Was that Hamilton line? You want to ask King Louis? Well, King Louis is super dead. Something like that. You can talk to King Louis's head because I'm afraid he's super dead. Something. But Hamilton's going bar, bar for bar with uh, Jefferson. Let's talk about how whether they should aid France, France, something like that. Got any data on the suspect in there? That would be the guy that my mom got a restaurant. Cabinet battles. Hold on. Hamilton's nice, Silver. I really like Hamilton. Hold on. This is it. A man arrested as a suspect in the L6 was Yanni Yoki. He was a clerk in a court, apparently. He was a, he was a clerk in a court, apparently. So he must have been the third person in the elevator. Well then, he had to have done it. But he was found innocent, thanks to his defense lawyer, Robert Hammond. Hammond, a victim in our case. Right. A suspect, Mr. Yogi, was oxygen deprived, so much so he had brain damage. He lost all memory of being in the elevator. After he was declared innocent, he disappeared. <laughs> or should we honor our treaty, King Louis's head? I'll do whatever you want. I'm super dead. <laughs> he may be closer than we think. I guess I know generally what happened in the L6 now. I still don't know what sort of impact the whole thing had on the actual. Nick, are we going to take the whole file? There's too much. We'll never get it out. You're right. How about we just take what we think we'll need? Right. That's probably all we'll be able to find here. Now, all that's left is the trial tomorrow. I wonder how dad will do testifying in court. It's finna get serious, boy. It's finna get serious, boy. Boy, it's finna get serious, boy. Boy, it's finna get serious, boy. I'm gonna take a bathroom break, though. It's gonna get real serious here in a second. Bathroom break, then it's court time, baby. Bathroom break, then it's court time, baby. Let's dance.
Showtime, baby. Dang it, there's always a fire. <laughs> hey, Keldy. How are you doing? It's getting chilly in here, so I take a bathroom break. I had to get my sweater. We ready. Go, Oak started a fire. 